The government pegged its domestic borrowing at 109 billion shillings this financial year, a factor that saw banks leverage heavily on government bonds to cushion against the effects of the global economic crisis. The borrowing of an additional 15 billion shillings is widely expected to crowd out lending to the private sector and give banks the leeway to maintain higher rates. The Central Bank Monetary Policy Committee is however confident that the increased activity by government on the debt market will have little bearing on interest rates. When we have an infrastructure board and we target specific projects, for, especially for infrastructure, we are actually targeting to reduce or to lower the transactions cost in the economy. That is very complementary to private investment or by enhancing, one, its expansion, and two, its, uh, profit, enhancing its profitability. CBK, which lowered its rate by 25 basis points on Tuesday, says banks' lending rates have remained high due to other related costs, including cost of transporting money, operational costs, and the short-term nature of lending. If you want to go and contract a loan, the maximum you can get in most banks right now, the term loans, is 36 months. You can't go to the banks because by the time the loan is, has matured, you have not even finished, completed the construction. As of February this year, lending is said to have increased to 783.8 billion shillings, up from 771.7 billion shillings in December last year. Despite this, a demand from the private sector is said to have been undersupplied by 10%. A key indicator of short-term loans was the personal and household sector, which received over 29% of available credit.